We're gone. We're gone. Yeah, we call on you a radical, Kevin Blanch. I'm at the Edward Schwartz Building, and we're trying to protect the USS Reagan troops on leading up to the fifth anniversary of Fukushima, Fukushima, the great ecological catastrophe, the great Pacific genocide. And this is, I, I really want to know, we stood right here, the only people, we love the troops, we love the troops, we love the troops. No, you don't love the troops. You don't love the troops. I want to know why the USS Reagan was sent in to Fukushima, Japan, freaking as the Admiral wanted, all two million United States civilians and military personnel evacuated off the Okinawa. By the way, did you know that the foam they used on the scrub now was banned in 2010? And it's giving them cancer too. She ruled, Janice ruled right here, and I stood right here that day. She ruled in October 2014 as they were flying the California flag upside down that it goes forward to G. We were so thrilled, we're so thrilled. So why, I wanna know why, why, why? Why do the wills of justice why does the United States Constitution, why does the United States Navy, the greatest beast in the world, the United States military, the Marines, why do they have to get on their knees and bow to the United States of nuclearism? Why do they bow to General Electric? Why are they bowing to Westinghouse? So I'll be here all week. This is an important act because I want to know why. I want answers and I'm going to find answers. I'm going to dig in here and we'll be here all week. This hallowed sacred time it happened in California, the exact earthquake, on March 10th at 9.46. We'll do a event at that time. We're going to work our way. We're going to do a lot of work as far as San Onofre, those rats at Diablo Canyon. I want to know why Jerry Brown is protecting PV. The collusion's been approved to GE. I want to know why he's protecting it. And I want to really talk about this. Nancy Reagan has passed. Ronald Reagan, you can grandstand all you want, is the Bush crime family. You know, right after he was elected, boom, you know, who, Ginkley? <laughs> I mean, it's amazing, but let's talk about, and I want to say this to Nancy's children, her family. People can say whatever they want about Nancy Reagan. I don't care what you say about her, politically left, right, but she was one great anti nuclear activist. And Gorbachev, his wife, Reagan and Gorbachev, the work they did, you can say whatever they want, you know, as they played him in the CIA Bush crime family and the Clinton crime family, and now the Obamas, Skull and Bones Rats, Russell's baby from Cal Berkeley. It's disgusting. They signed, Megan Rice gives her life to break into Y-12 to call what Reagan and Gorbachev did. Rita died of leukemia, you know, the Chernobyl girl. Patty Davis, where are you? Where are you, Patty? You know, we used to love you. At Diablo Canyon, where are you? But this is the U.S. Yes, Reagan, the Reagan, the U.S. Ronald Nancy Reagan. They were anti-nuclear activists. And I want everybody to think they signed the non-proliferation contract, and the United States government continues to violate it over and over. They just thumb their nose at Reagan's work. They thumb their nose at the international community. They thumb their nose. You know, whatever we do, whatever we want. We mass murder our own. This was in October 2014. I want to know why. Why is GE and General Electric are labeled to push this back over and over and over? Why does the United States Navy, of all people, the United States Marine Corps, get on their knees and bow to General Electric and Westinghouse? It is outrageous. It is outrageous. You genocide the Pacific Ocean. You lie, you lie in the fishing industry. You know, you want to shoot the messenger, but you've been after me all the time. Why didn't you lock arms with us and join and fight these rats? Nothing could have been done. Yeah, a lot could have been done. You've devastated the mighty blue lady, your own fishing industry. You've killed the whales. You've killed the freaking sea lions, the sea turtles, the otters, you know, the sardines, the anchovies. It's outrageous. It's outrageous. Oh, yeah, it's just starfish, the tide pools, all of it. And, you know, last time we were here, we're protesting SWAT team on me, unified police on me. Why? Why? It's trying to save you from you. Come on, California. Come on, California. Pull your heads out of your ass and wake up. I want to know why. And I'm going to get some answers. I'll be in there. I'm going to go in there and we're going to dig in. We want answers. We want, why is this not going forward? Why are you mass murdering your own men? They had a little league football sleepover camp on the Reagan. I, this Chargers pride. I says, oh, the Chargers are leaving San Diego? Yeah, on their way out. Let's radiate them on the Reagan. You know, it's outrageous. You know, thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Patty, for your work you did in the day. But we sure could use you. You know, thank you. Gorbachev and Reagan for the work that you did as far as the anti-nuclearism that you are. Let's remember one thing about Reagan. You say whatever you want about Reagan. His economic policy, the puppet he was, was pathetic. There's no doubt. 1945. 
You know what it took to be an anti-nuclear activist in 1945? Who was really the celebrity anti-nuclear activist in the world? There was only one. Ronald Reagan. It's for real. Warner Brothers, those guys from Vienna made him stand down. Huh, I wonder. Stay in tune.